there, so oh, okay. I've never used one of those, but that might help me to um when I'm recording, I think I'll buy one of these. How cute, 99 cents. Anyway, I'm in a store in Long Island called uh, Amazing Savings. I can't get the darn thing out there. I got it. It's not a thrift store. It's just a, a discount store. So let's see what they have in here. What is this? Bobble display. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at that. How cute. Cyclops. I need to buy that for my friend Samoa. She's French. Oh, look at all these gorgeous party supplies. Aren't these beautiful plates? Oh, wow. And they sure have it displayed so beautifully and nice. Look how pretty, y'all. I think they, they cater to uh, the Jewish population here on Long Island. I'm sure um, they buy a lot of these things for the bar mitzvahs and the, the bat mitzvahs. What is this? Silver spoon. Oh, napkin rings. Oh, how cute. Huh? Oh, how cute. I'm going to buy this. I thought that would help me to prop my phone up when I'm recording. Throw that in the basket. <clears throat> Oh, look, martini glass. Ten more little plastic martini glasses. How cute. <clears throat> Cloth light guest towels. So we're here today shopping for um, a birthday party. going to be celebrating Hussani's birthday this weekend. And these are metallic. Oh, table runners. Um, Y'all look at these pearl set of six napkin rings. I told y'all this is just a preview of what you're going to be able to see whenever I move to New York. I'm going to take you shopping and I'm going to go into Manhattan and see the New York skyline and Times Square. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Go down there, Jimmy. Um, look at these little spoons. <laughs> I guess for caviar and foie gras. What is that? What is foie gras? Mashed up um, duck liver or something? <laughs> this country girl doesn't know anything about them. Um, Fancy hors d'oeuvres and fish eggs and all that kind of stuff. Oh, look, Vanity Fair dinner napkins. These are 69 cents. Hmm. Oh, look at these. How pretty. Wouldn't that be pretty to make those arts and crafts that uh, I see people making on YouTube? I need to learn how to do that. I saw a lady yesterday doing it with a, a Christmas napkin. She was uh, had a piece of saran wrapped down, and uh, the print from a Christmas napkin, and then she just ironed it on. It was really 
really beautiful. <clears throat> Nice Look at this, y'all. I've never seen anything like that. How much is this thing? Pop and load space saving laundry basket. I don't see a price on it. Pillows, microfiber pillows. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I need to call Dr. Corruptions, the devil wife, and tell her about these folding clothing mats. She had this one. She had one just like this. And then she had about eight of these. She was such a fanatic about their clothes. None of the clothes could be put in the dryer. They all had to be hung on these um, collapsible drying racks. Have luggage. Hard shell luggage. That's not a bad price. Twenty ninety nine to thirty nine ninety nine. I like this. Duffel bag, $7.99. What is that? Oh, some kind of rolling luggage for $19.99. Well, I'm not planning on taking any trips, and uh, if I do, I'll borrow. I'll borrow some luggage from Jill. And she did tell me, you're not going to believe the prices on the toys. $12.99. What is that? Some kind of little jungle stacker. Hey, I might be able to buy stuff here and resell it on Amazon. I'll, uh, I'll check into that jungle stacker and see what it's selling for on uh, Amazon during Christmas. The only problem with that, it's going to be too difficult to ship, so... I need to look for something. <laughs> it's not going to cost an arm and a leg to ship. The particle puzzle, three ninety nine. I don't know. Do children still work puzzles? I think if they do, it's probably a an app on a a game. Assorted wood puzzles. Oh, how cute! $7.99. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Crazy. Rocky horse. Oh, how cute. Well, y'all, this is definitely the place to, um... Oh, look. Learn how to lace and tie your shoes. Wooden lacing shoe. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Cleaning caddy. <laughs> Aww. Ife would like that, I'm sure. Oh, they have Melissa and Doug toys. Well, I cannot sell Melissa and Doug on Amazon. That, that is a restricted product. I have to be a, a licensed Melissa and Doug um, representative to sell for them. Slingshot, critter slingshots. The ultra grip football, Nerf football, basketballs. Oh, a big tub of Play-Doh. I was talking about smells uh, the other day in my video about when I was in Savers talking about the smell of that old, um, the glue and, and all the smells for back to school. And one of the most vivid smells is the smell of Play-Doh. <laughs> Now's your time to shine. Hello, beautiful. 
That goes to all my subscribers. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Each and every one of you is so beautiful to me. Lord, look at these picture frames. Absolutely gorgeous. $6.99. Wow. Aren't they beautiful? As soon as I get moved into my apartment and get it set up, I may come by a couple of picture frames. There's a little oval mirror up there. Look, this stuff goes all the way up to the ceiling. Look how nice and clean this store is, y'all. Diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> Set of two cold beverage dispensers, $20. Oh, that's a nice one there. Home Essentials, that's Walmart's brand, isn't it? I think so. Well, you know, it's it's refreshing to see um, that a store like this is still in business because Amazon is absolutely putting every store out of business. I mean, now Kmart is shutting down. Sears is closing down. It's sad. Oh, these are cute. $1.99 each. I like the, the one with the gold sparkles in it. Oh, those are pretty. Studio Everyday Blazes. I just can't drink wine. I mean, I I like um, Moscato because it's sweet, but with my hypoglycemia, I just I can't can't drink it. <laughs> I would love to be able to have a glass of red wine at bedtime, but um, it sure messes with my, my sugar. Oh, look at this big uh, flatware set, 50 pieces. For forty dollars. It's amazing. Okay, so let's go over here. What is this? Home basics. Oh, a little garbage can. <laughs> oh, how cute. I might come get that from my apartment. I don't know. <laughs> this is a nice basket. Oh, it's it's kind of pricey, ten dollars. Okay, so more party supplies. Copper. Look at these little copper. So cute. The copper serving dishes now. William Sonoma would take this and, and put their fancy William Sonoma tag on it and charge $50 for it. <laughs> well, this stuff is heavy. I mean, this is some good stuff. $5.99. It's not cheap. Classic either. A sugar dish. How cute. Oh, I like the polka dot cups. Oh, this is nice. Look, $3.99. That's amazing. But I have my Rachel Ray that my subscriber sent me. Thank you for that, sweetheart. I, I do appreciate it and I absolutely love it. 
pour and store glass bottle. Home essentials. What is this? Anchor Home Collection, two ninety nine. Oh, look, you can see, so you can tell if you're almost out of the product that you put in there. Now, when I get up here and start unpacking and setting up my kitchen, I am definitely coming back to this store. Oh, look at this, y'all. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Shaped like a pear. That is adorable. Oh, these are the apothecary. Candy on canisters that Zeus was telling me about that they have at his candy stores. Although his are antique. Look at this amber glass, y'all, with the leaf on it. Isn't that pretty? Three nine. Oh, this stuff is just Asian. Home Essentials. It's heavy. I'm not, I'm not going to pick it up and look at the price because um, I'm terrified of dropping it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Mirrors. <laughs> Y'all get to see me in that mirror with no makeup on today. Okay. Oh, look at these. How pretty. I hope y'all are enjoying this as much as I am because it's a lot of fun to see all of this bling and everything. Oh, how cute. A, a little jewelry box. How much are these? Look, y'all. $12.99. I can't open it with one hand. But isn't that a gorgeous box? I bet at Christmas time you can't even get in this store. Oh, now we're in all the little kitchen items. Oil mister. $4.99. If I wasn't video recording, I would be scanning these with my Amazon sellers app and see what I could sell it for on Amazon. Oh, a sink strainer. That's nice. A grater. My friend Paula sent me that beautiful grater, so I definitely will never need another grater. Colorworks um, colanders. Paula sent me that stainless steel colander too. Thank you, Paula. I hope I'm not going too fast for y'all today. I know Deborah Joy would have a field day in here. She loves kitchen gadgets. Let me know what you need, Deborah, and I'll come back and buy it for you. Those Carverware scissors, two ninety nine. Now, if you bought those at AC Moore, they'd be at least twenty nine ninety nine. Kitchen shears. I wonder if I should get those. Oh, those are prepping shears. It's good to use those to cut up a chicken. I think. Look at these with the bamboo handles. Nice natural home for $3.99. Oh, Nada. I think of Nada, gosh. When I married little Scotty, we had a set of oh, Nada. Um, stainless steel. I left it when I left him. <laughs> I wanted nothing, no kind of reminder of that disgusting marriage. Oh, look how cute. A walking zebra 
salt and pepper shakers. Adorable. Oh, vigor. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it said vulgar. <laughs> Lower. That's something else I got to do when I get settled up here is get my eyeglasses changed. Oh, look at these trivets. How cute. <laughs> A cutting board with lemons on it. You are my sunshine. Oh, you are my main squeeze. <laughs> There's my favorite color, the coral. I hear baby Ife over there. She's going through a phase now where she doesn't want to eat. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't want baby food anymore. So we're trying to get her acclimated to um, regular food that's just kind of uh, mashed up with a fork a little bit and still left chunky. Oh, there's some pretty baby dolls. Build and go table. More Play-Doh. Oh, Lordy, how nice. That's a big bucket of Play-Doh. How much are these? What? It's packed. I don't know where. Yeah. Issa wants one of these scooters. <laughs> I know, but I'm thinking. They're $19.99. Hey, Faye. I think y'all have seen enough kitchen appliances. Let's go. Oh, let's go look down here and let's see what this is. Oh, these are kettles, electric kettles, double burner hot plates. Y'all know the, the Jewish um, people, they don't, they do their cooking on, during the week and then they, um, during their Sabbath, which is from Friday sundown until Saturday sundown, they don't cook. They keep their food warm on these hot plates. They don't drive, um, you know, it's against their religious beliefs to drive or to cook or use, use any type of electric or, or automated things. It's, um, and whenever they worship, if my Jewish subscribers, you, you can let me know more about it. Even though I've been living up here with, with them, um, I really still don't know that much about their traditions and their religious beliefs, but... Jill worked at a hospital that was Jewish, so I do know a little bit about their customs during the Sabbath. <clears throat> what are these, tablecloths? Napkins. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Better Homes and Gardens, Kitchen Towel. These are nice. Oh, look at this. These are called chargers, I think. Oh, no, they're placements. Okay. What is this? Oh, a towel grill. Okay. Gloves, all kinds of brooms. I want a little sponge mop because I'm going to clean the walls um, of my new apartment. Oh, look at this little scrubby brush. <laughs> How cute. Three ninety nine. Dish soap dispensing. Oh, look at 
look how cute. Kitchen scrubbers. Okay, let's see what's over here. Oh, these are kitchen utensil holders. Okay. I don't want to start accumulating a lot of stuff because I just in the process of cleaning out a lot of stuff and getting rid of it and trying to simplify my life even more. Oh, look how cute. Little jar. Oh, a little lunch box. Lunch blocks. Lunch box. Oops. What? Okay. It's hard to do anything with one hand. <laughs> Okay, I'll be up there in a minute. Anyway, when <laughs> trying to handle all this stuff with my left arm, it reminds me of my father. Um, Y'all who have gone back and watched all my old videos know that he was um, crippled when he was an infant with polio. And he could not use his right arm at all. Was totally paralyzed. So he learned how to do everything with his left arm. And he was very skilled at everything. I mean, he ran that 20-acre farm there in Lumberton and dug um, fence post holes with, with his, one, his left hand and drove a car, drove a tractor. You just, um, you know, you learn how to adapt and, and live, survive, no matter what your handicap is. And I just am so proud of all of my sweet subscribers who write to me and y'all tell me what your health limitations are and the disadvantages that you have in life and how you've overcome it. And I want y'all to know how proud I am of you. I know it's difficult and it's an everyday challenge. And I'm just so um, happy for y'all to just continue with a positive outlook and I want to encourage you to, to do that every day. Just make the best out of every day that, that our God gives to us. So um, this is getting almost 30 minutes long. I think it's time to shut it off. And I want you to know that I love you Please give me a thumbs up and share. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.